Whoa! <laughs> record Store Day special. So, happy Record Store Day in time for Saturday, I guess, guys. Uh, this is Sol from Tasty Records, independent record shop in Altrincham. We've got, obviously, we've got our brand new, our pre-loved, but most excitedly, Record Store Day participating 2022, this Saturday, 23rd of April, drop one. Uh, very excited. Got getting our stock in thick and fast. Um, this video is not going to show any of the releases per se, but maybe we'll do a kind of uh, a quick video on Friday night just before we uh, close for 8.30 in the morning, Saturday morning. We'll show uh, all the stock we got in and kind of the setup and what the what the kind of gig is here, you know, on uh, in the morning. But Record Store Day, for those who don't know, I guess, it's in, in celebrating independent record shops who are run by small teams like us here at Tasty Records and kind of, you know, celebrating our our independence from the man, you know, and the truth of having someone to come into a shop and recommend an item and kind of make our lives recycling records. You can get pretty philosoph philosophical with this. But, um, so with Saturday, you'll have to queue for everything. Uh, everyone kind of knows the deal. You have, you, there's no online until the week after. You have to come down physically and pick the record up from the shop and queue starts midnight some people start queuing for midnight so if you want that special release you've got to put the effort in get some get some bundles and some chairs maybe some hot chocolate or something and uh see through the night you know like wait the night through um so we've got some goodies as well from record store day we've got these really cool tote bags which will go out to the people at first in the queue with some uh some goodies in there and we've got these t-shirts for the staff but uh we think we might have one left over which will go to someone who wants in the queue and just like a tour poster this has got all the record stops participating um somewhere somewhere around here in the tees i won't try and show you too harshly but you can pause the video and find us Oh, you're right there in the middle, Tasty Records. We're right there on, on the uh, shirt, which is very exciting. Um, but this video is going to be kind of... It's my first record store day working in a shop. So I was a punter just like you uh, for many years before. I think I've been doing record store day for about six years now. And very exciting time. Always make the effort of coming down to a different record shop every year, really. You know, like try and, try and spread it around. But... If you're local to Altrium or if you, you know, get the tram from Manchester or drive in, I'm getting loads of stock in and yeah, come, I'd love to see you. We'd love to see you on, uh, on Saturday. So here are some of the releases I've picked up in the past. And the first one is from 2017, Beatles, Strawberry Fields, Forever, Penny Lane single. It kind of replicates the original sleeve from 1967 with the kind of flips at the top as well and everything uh this is the new remix from giles martin as well uh sounds amazing this is exclusive to this kind of uh seven inch right here the label kind of replicates the uh the original ones as well always love putting this one on and um strawberry fields forever is probably my favorite beatles song as well so it's a really nice thing to have i've also got this kind of this fern leaf almost uh, from strawberry fields which i picked up and it's kind of immortalized in this record but quite a sought after item and uh, it was very sought after on the day i remember but i managed to snap it and uh snag up a coffee uh next one of the seven inch this is temptation and hurt by new order um kind of another replication kind of job replicating the original sleeve which is really cool sleeve if you look at that and again, 33 RPM. I think it's a new mix or at least a new remix. Um, and this one's from 2015, I think. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure on what year this was, but this was a really nice pickup. And there's a couple of things which I got from Record Store Day, but I don't have any more. So 
one of the ones I kind of moved along um, after it gained some value. Uh, I went to Brighton last year and I was a student, so I didn't have much money. So I had to kind of reevaluate my vinyl situation. So they, these I had um, Peter Hook uh, and the Lights uh, closer live in Manchester, both editions of that, which were very expensive and still expensive nowadays. I'm pretty sure, but um, they were really nice items. I had don't don't have them right now, but. Another record store day purchase from 2017, I'm pretty sure that was. Another one which is kind of uh, only got half of it, which is Robert Johnson, uh, Terraplane Blues, Kind Hearted Woman Blues. This is a really nice item from 2019, and it's replicating the original 78 with its sleeve and everything. There's kind of Obi strip on it. Um, but it's plays at 78 rpm which not every turntable does but if you look you can it is a micro groove record so it can be played on a regular um not a gramophone almost you know so it's four modern record players and it plays at 78 rpm it sounds really good as well like robert johnson a lot of the recordings are obviously really old and um this whenever i play this it's very uh, haunting atmosphere because it is he's like speaking out from nearly 100 years uh, yeah it's crazy uh, but I also had this was like one of the more desirable items I had which I had to sell to go to Brighton uh, that, that was Robert Johnson the complete recordings on vinyl um, that was a really nice like a 3 LP set sounded really good really nice digital kind of remaster on that and they're just I think people are realising it's never being reissued on vinyl so very very high high ticket item oh big ticket item as we say in the shop you know um next one one of my favorites probably the one i play well i play a lot of these but one of the ones i play the most this is 13 floor elevators the psychedelic sounds um one of my favorite albums of all time honestly and this is the mono picture disc version i just showed you there really nice of the original kind of cover and when this is on your turntable it just looks amazing when it's spinning around it's got kind of the the pyramid on the back with the eye um this record was 2019 i'm pretty sure as well and usually picture discs i'm not too keen on i think i've mentioned that in a video before but this one in particular is one of the best sounding records i have it's a uh, an amazing sounding mono uh, repress of the original album on Charlie Records as well and limited to a thousand copies this was and very very sought after now and I'll never give it up it's one of my one of my pride and joys honestly until I get an original which are about a thousand pounds um this one here is uh Bob D this is another really sought after one this is Bob Dylan, Blood on the Tracks, uh, the original the original uh, New York version. So kind of he did the, the album originally all acoustic. And then after Christmas, his brother convinced him that it was a bit too heavy of an album. And he kind of reworked a few of the tracks in electric. But these were already ready to be pressed, I'm pretty sure. And the original sleeves um, are the original versions for the acoustic album so if you get an a first copy it's for these this album and it's kind of like an acetate a depth test pressing um and these were widely bootlegged i think it was like one of the heralded as one of the best bootlegs ever and finally it got an official release on record store day um i think limited to what seven thousand five hundred copies go for a lot of money and i had to get this one the story behind this one is i went on record store day i searched everywhere didn't have it i called um another record shop and i said hey do you have uh, the bob dylan blue the tracks and before i could finish he was just like no mate no it's gone it's gone <laughs> but i had to buy this on the secondary market and they're not cheap i'll tell you that but an amazing album and another one i'll never depart with uh this one was from last year i'm pretty sure yeah last year i think this was 
Captain Beefheart and the Magic Band, unconditionally guaranteed a really nice remaster of this on uh, clear vinyl as well. Captain Beefheart, he gets... Same with Bob Dylan, you know, Captain Beefheart has a few releases, I'm pretty sure, but I'd love to see more always, you know. Clear vinyl, uh, cut from original tapes as well, and clear vinyl, I usually find, sounds the best as well. And, uh, yeah, they, again, this is an item which... It, Beefheart fans go crazy for these kind of stuff and it's a really nice item. Uh, people people say this is a um, bad Beefheart album. I, I'd say disagree. It's it's still very summery. It might not be as experimental or interest like interesting as is other albums, but it's always worth play. Uh, some really you know this is the day lazy lazy music. I've got love on my mind, full moon, hot sun, you know, ha magic B. This this album's just it's it's so pleasant to listen to. Honestly, it's such a great album and um, a great album for people who don't kind of know B fart really. If they want to be eased in carefully, uh, you know. Uh, but yeah, really nice item. Another record store day thing from last year. Um, this one is another really cool item. I, I think we have the reissue somewhere. So this is um, Piper at the Gates of Dawn, uh, Pink Floyd. And when this came out, this was the only mono reissue since the uh, the original, which again are worth nearly a thousand pounds or something. And the mono edition of this album is definitive in my opinion. It's it's the only way of listening to to Piper, but. Uh, this it, the the actual record itself. This is like the really cool psychedelic outer sleeve of uh, the the record. I'm just trying to get this one out. This is the reissue we got recently, which I jumped on straight away when it came up, and it's the same record which was in here. So when you open this this kind of sleeve, it um, it reveals this record, and it's the same mix, same same mono album, but these are still worth quite a bit of money just for this outer sleeve but if you want the record we still do these for a really nice price 21.99 still got them in stock here um but yeah this what can i say you know like it was one of them when i i just had to get it I, it was a record store day release where you got a queue you gotta you gotta put the time in and when you finally get it in your hands it's so rewarding and i got it's just a an amazing sentimental album for me this and uh yeah, love it. Another, we've got two left here. So this is Albert Hammond Jr. Um, he did, he, he's got a release this year with Glass Animals, I'm pretty sure as well. Um, like another kind of really cool rotoscope, uh, 10 inch or even 12 inch, I think. And um, he's doing guitar with Glass Animals, but famously the guitarist of The Strokes. Um, his solo album, uh, Francis Trouble, was honestly one of my favourite releases from... 2018 i'm pretty sure it came out and when this came out i had to grab it because it's got some bonus tracks on it comes out of this this sleeve right here and it's got like an etching right there of if you if you can see it it's like a baby being born you know <laughs> it's pretty tricky to see but um yeah again a really nice collectible item and um albert hammond jr the strokes you know there's some there's some high value to these items uh, so he's got another one this year and we got a couple of copies of that but Glass Animals are on top of the world at the moment and really desirable item and the last one got to show from my, my personal kind of collection it's John Lennon Imagine Raw Studio Mixes and this is again just one of them albums where it's one of the best albums best sounding albums I have in my collection you you can hear kind of his breathing John Lennon's breathing and the 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 kind of the, uh, the distance from the mic and everything like that and it really just takes over the room whenever you play this and it sounds like he's kind of in the room with you and uh it, you know people go on about the Phil Spector mix of this album and kind of, I think it kind of fits with the album but if you just want that raw kind of plastic owner band kind of vibe with it this is the inner sleeve with all the kind of there's, there's George right there and Klaus Vormann somewhere I think that's Klaus Vormann there and um, yeah just like an amazing album and 
an amazing mix of the album. You get a really nice big poster with this as well. With War Is Over on it. I won't, I won't unfold it all. Uh, but yeah, again, this is just one of them albums. Uh, one of this particular release is really hard to come by now. And uh, that's what it's all about. They don't. They they might be online somewhere, but people are paying a premium for these. Five thousand five hundred. So worldwide for John Lennon, not that much really. And yeah, that's that's that really. Uh, we'll probably do another video on tomorrow, uh, just to kind of do a quick overview of maybe a kind of flick video or something, just to be like, this is everything we've got in. Uh, this is the procedure. This is kind of how it'll look like. And. Yeah, really looking forward to seeing you on the day. See you later.